Today's Bible study is titled Paul Went Up by Revelation. In the last two installments, we saw Paul relating that, three years after his Damascus Road encounter with the risen Lord, he finally went up to Jerusalem to see the Apostle Peter and while, there also saw James the Lord's brother, half-brother. Now, today, we get to the point of Paul's history lesson as we begin to discuss the Jerusalem Council. Then fourteen years after I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. Galatians 2 verses 1 to 2. Let's break this down. First, we need to know something of the occasion for Paul as he went up again to Jerusalem. And we find the answer to this question in the latter portion of Acts 14 where we learn Paul and Barnabas' location was Antioch and the reason for their going up to Jerusalem related in Acts 15 verses 1-2 to and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren, and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas, and certain other of them, should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. So, in response to the certain men that had come down from Judea, teaching salvation required circumcision, Paul is going up to Jerusalem. As we'll see from Paul's account of the Jerusalem Council in Galatians, it was far more about Paul sharing his gospel with the twelve than it was asking any questions. With this understanding, we continue. Next, Paul relates that in his going up to Jerusalem, he was with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. Barnabas was a Levite of Cyprus, Acts 4 verse 36, who had accompanied Paul on journeys establishing churches among the Gentiles. Titus was an uncircumcised Gentile who had been saved by grace under Paul's preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. And given the issue that caused Christ to send Paul to Jerusalem, bringing Titus along was very important. And then Paul notes just how and why he went up, stating, and I went up by revelation. Let's not miss this, for the revelation that he had regarding going up to Jerusalem in this matter was directly from the risen and glorified Lord Jesus Christ from heavenly places. And this revelation was again new information from our Lord. For we see as Paul continues that he went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel, which I preach among the Gentiles. And the student of the word, at this point, will ask why? Why would Paul need to share with the twelve and other leaders of the Jerusalem church the gospel message that he was preaching to the Gentiles? Weren't the twelve preaching the same message? As we will see, the answer to this question is apparently not, for there, the twelfth's message did include circumcision, obeying the Mosaic law, and attending the temple, per the terms of Israel's anticipated new covenant. In fact, Paul expected some consternation from the kingdom believers regarding his circumcision-free and law-free message is obvious, given that he communicated it to the twelve and others, privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. In other words, this was done in a private conference, away from the balance of the little flock, Luke 12 verses 31 to 33. Again, the student of the word will ask. Why? Believer, be a student of the word and ask why? Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.